right, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, hello. My name is Rodney Campbell, and I'm really fortunate to be doing this. Uh, this blog belongs to my mother, and I'm holding my daughter, one of my daughters. I uh, really love uh, this idea that she has for Reading Asian this month to celebrate Asian Pacific Island Islander Heritage Month. Um, and uh, yeah, so I picked a couple of poems. Uh, the first by my man Rumi. Just a little bit about Rumi. Um, he was an Afghan man who once had to flee his homeland from Mongol invaders 700 years ago. He took the world by storm with his remarkable gift of writing. His name was Rumi. He wrote volumes of the most exquisite poems about life, love, and loss. I've been reading his poems for years, a uh, really big fan, so I picked one to read here. This poem is called All Rivers at Once. What is the body? Endurance. What is love? Gratitude. What is hidden in our chests? Laughter. What else? Compassion. Uh, to me, this is a poem it's near and dear to my heart. Uh, I think that compassion is something that we can all, it's a common experience for us all and, or can be, and really can be a, a place for us all to see each other for who we are and not the, 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 all the, the stuff that we put on top of it, um, the labels, the masks that we wear so that we can be seen a certain way instead of how we are. And just this poem in its beautiful, eloquent simplicity lists out what I think are some of the most important things in life, gratitude, laughter, compassion. If you can feel, if you can do those things every day, if you can, if you can be grateful, if you can laugh, if you can cry, um, if you can be compassionate, if you can shed a tear, Jimmy Valvano has a, Jimmy V has a great speech uh, the ESPYs talking about those things. If you can do each one of those every day, you will have lived a full life. Next up, I want to read a poem by one of my heroes. Uh, and, and the more I learn about him and the more I uh, age, the more I, um, I truly adore this man, uh, Bruce Lee. Artist, philosopher. Um, I, I would leave it at that, artist and philosopher. I mean, most people know him, many people know him for his martial arts, but the man did not stop there. He did so much more. So I'm not sure if this poem has a title, but it, I, I think it's called The Medicine for My Suffering. Uh, Bruce Lee wrote a lot and some really profound stuff. This one I connect with on a very, very recently and on a very, very deep level. Uh, I'll talk about it after I read it, but here we go. The medicine for my suffering I had within me from the very beginning, but I did not take it. My ailment came from within myself, but I did not observe it until this moment. Now I see I will never find the light unless, like a candle, I am my own fuel. Bruce Lee. The answer is inside. I, 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 I wholeheartedly believe this and, and have felt it and experienced it in my journeys and, and things I'm trying to do. Um, this poem means so much to me personally. I hope, hopefully it does something for you. Um, quick shout out to the Bruce Lee podcast, which is actually done by his daughter, Shannon, if you didn't know he had a, so most people know he had a son, Brandon, that unfortunately passed, but he has a daughter, Shannon, that does an amazing, I really like it because I get to know more about Bruce and hear about her relationship with her dad and the relationship that she has with him now through his writings. Uh, it's really good. And then also a shout out to Phil Yu, the angry Asian man. Uh, he's a blogger, content creator. He puts out some really dope stuff, uh, bigging up the... Asian community in America and the world, for that matter. Check them out. Bruce Lee Podcast. Angry Asian Man. This is Rodney. And I'm out.